HD and today guys I want to show you how to get rid of this little notification uh, the get Windows 10 notification that automatically popped up out of nowhere uh, it didn't really automatically popped out of nowhere um, because it, it looks like Microsoft pushed out a particular update to everyone and that's the way that you got it uh, this particular updates this is the number right here KB 30 35 583 so I'm gonna copy this and I want to show you guys uh, that it is installed for apparently this update was installed around the late 2015 updates and uh, it looks like Microsoft triggered it and that's the reason why you got this Windows 10 icon to uh, get into it and reserve your copy of Windows 10 now uh, the requirements or the core requirements for uh, to get this update or to get this icon on the taskbar is you need to get uh, Windows 8.1 or if you're running Windows 7 Service Pack 1 uh, that's in you're keeping your machine up to date and having it automatically push out all these updates to you uh, most likely you've got this icon but what if you don't want this icon what if you want to get rid of it what if you're not ready to get the Windows 10 update well you, you search the KB 30 35 583 update you right click and you uninstall and that will remove it now you can also hide it. Let's say you want the Windows 10, but you don't want this little icon. Apparently, you know this icon is running in the background, and if it's if you could hide it, you could just go here and you could customize it. Let's go to customize, and you can locate it, and you could just basically hide it. But if you want to completely remove it, um, or you hide it, it's going to constantly run in the background because Microsoft created a task schedule that automatically has this icon up and running every time you restart your machine just advertising and it just stays there so one way is you can uninstall and I want to show you guys that there is a task schedule that they made let's go to schedule tasks within Windows 8.1 and let's expand this let's go to Microsoft Windows and then within Windows you want to go into the setup folder within the setup folder it is the GWX this is right here and then you got the GWS triggers so again this is these, these are the triggers that they created for this Windows icon to pop up. You could disable the task uh, scheduler to not auto, you know, up, you know, auto run when you start your machine, or you could just go inside your um, your install updates, right click and just uninstall, and it would disappear. But eventually, it's gonna pop up again. So if you if you're if you're a constant person like myself that's always pushing updates to your machine. This update is going to be pushed out. It's going to roll out to every time uh, to your machine, regardless if you have it or not. If you have it, that basically goes your machine basically goes back into Windows uh, Update Server and say, "Hey, I got it. Stop bothering me." If you don't have it, it's going to push it down. Okay, so you got to uninstall it, go into the task scheduler and disable it. Or there's another little trick if you go inside your Reg Hack. So let's go. Let me minimize all this stuff. I got a file right here, and let's uh, do it. Apple. I, I said Apple. Let's do a Windows R, and within the in Windows R, we're gonna go to Reg. Let's go to Reg backspace to stuff. Reg edit. Open that up. Yeah, we're gonna hit yes on that. And within here, my little cheat sheet, we're gonna go into the local machine. Within local machine, when you wanna go to software, you know all the way to the bottom where it says policies, Microsoft. We want the Windows. Expand this. Go to Windows, and within Windows, you not you're not going to see the GWX folder so that means you have to create it so let's right click on it and we're gonna to go to new and we need to create a new key and we're gonna call it GWX make sure it's a capital G and within here we're gonna right click new and we create a new D word now the D word is gonna call it disabled go in here let's get in here there you go it's a uh, disabled disabled yep yeah. GWX awesome double click on it and the value is going to be one and eventually this little icon once you reboot it's going to disappear so hopefully you guys enjoy this video if you have any questions or, or concerns leave them at the bottom of the video section at the comment section don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support the video it definitely supports the video as well as me and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one peace out